Louisiana Beer Reviews, Coney Island Lager from Schmaltz Brewing. This 5.5% alcohol beer was introduced in 2007, which is when they rolled out their Coney Island series of beers. It's a nonprofit. Proceeds go to Coney Island, USA, a nonprofit uh, charity. <clears throat> All right. It's brewed in Saratoga Springs, New York. It's a 22 ounce bottle. Now, Saratoga Springs Brewery, I think that's owned by United Beverages of India, the people that own, uh, make the, the Kingfisher beers and the Mendocino beers. Okay. They use a lot of different types of barley malts in this beer. Specialty two road, two types of pale ale malt, Maris Otter malt. They have red wheat malt, also Cara Munich uh, 60L, Light Munich 6L, Vienna 4L, flaked barley as well. For hops, they use Warrior, Amarillo, Cascade, Tetning. Saz, Halitol, and they use Cascade Dry Hops. It's a good rating on Beer Advocate. The bros give it an exceptional score. 78 out of 100 on rate beer and a 98 out of 100 for the style. I've never had it. <clears throat> well, let's see what it's like. Not a twist cap. Now, doesn't look like this one is kosher. I know the uh, their Hebrew beers are kosher, the Jewish beer company. Uh, don't think their Coney Island ones are necessarily kosher though. They don't emphasize that with the Coney Island line. Some um, smoke here. It's pretty damp, chilly, and overcast. So I don't know how good the lighting is going to be. Probably not terrific. Thick. I guess you call that a beige head and a. Yeah. Well, it's a semi opaque, pretty hazy amber appearance. <clears throat> Not a lot of screaming bubbles. In fact, I don't see any. I guess it, all the carbonation went to the top. It's pretty pretty uh, foamy kind of creamy head. Let's go with the aroma. You get a lot of say brown bread, some sweet brown bread. You can pick up a little bit of the hop zing in there. I don't know how old the beer is. There's no date. You know Greg's beer reviews. He gets so enraged about the company's not putting a date on the bottles and I can go I can go along with that I think they should sometimes I'll put a code but it's inexplicable you don't know what the code means all right <clears throat> smells nice um, let's go with the flavor <sighs> interesting Sweet brown bread. It's medium roasted. There is some sourness in the beer, also that you, the type of sourness that you get with the Dixie beer, the Dixie Lager beer. There's a lot of just. It, it just seems like there's a lot of different types of grains intermixed and you can't really identify them but you can tell they're different there's a mellow hop bitterness I'm sure the IBU with this beer can't be too too high because it doesn't taste too bitter a lot of nice lacing around here now the unusual thing is that the mouthfeel is, is very thick it's got a medium to thick mouthfeel so it's a heavy tasting beer it's not a light lager <laughs> by any stretch. The finish is 
somewhat dry. It's sort of crisp. It really has like a more of an, a lot of ale qualities, to, to tell you the truth. Um, it is refreshing here at 8.30 in the morning. Um, it's pleasant and it's very drinkable. It's a nice underlying hot bitterness, but it's it's not strong. Well, I believe that was five forty nine for the bottle, so it's um, a little pricey, but I saw it at Matherns. I've been seeing it at Matherns for years, and I just keep passing it by, and I said, heck, man, I ought to buy it. <laughs> so I did. I'm going to give it an A-. minus. I think it is excellent, just excellent, but it is excellent. I'm starting to really come around to these schmaltz beers. I think they do a good job. The beers are contract brewed by Saratoga Springs. I don't guess that really matters. Uh, some people make a big deal out of contract brewing. Um, I don't know why that would matter. If you follow the recipe, then you're following the recipe, right? So anyway, Les Les Bon Temps Roulé. This is an excellent beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans and also visit Coney Island one day.